What's up guys, it's time for the 2021 year in review for Armour and Alcejo Photography. So this year I've done a lot of stuff uh, with photography wise. Uh, it's definitely been kind of a crazy year, uh, not as crazy as 2020, uh, but I, I did a whole lot uh, more this year than I probably had in a long time. Uh, things kind of started off slow because you know, things in January, uh, we didn't have the vaccines yet of readily available and then things started to kind of pick up as the year went on. I ended up also buying a whole bunch of new gear uh, this year as well for my Nikon Z7. I got about like three different lenses. I got a new camera bag, actually got two camera bags. Uh, and things just kind of started to take off as the year went by. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to kind of go through some of my favorite shots of the year and we'll go about month by month. I didn't take photos every month, but uh, We'll go through those together, and in the meantime, I'm actually just about to post up uh, Tony's uh, S2K from, from way back in the day on my new account on Instagram, which is uh, armandphoto.com, all spelled out. Uh, make sure you give that a follow. That's going to be where I'm going to putting more of my professional photos and things specific to automotive landscapes and portraits, whereas my old regular personal account is going to be more uh, personal stuff like food photos and photos of friends and, and more fun stuff. So. Definitely uh, make sure to, to give that new account a follow, uh, but I'm just gonna hit share right now and uh, you'll see this uh, pretty much uh, right away. So starting in January, uh, I uh, was checking out a new park uh, that's over by uh, Portage Bay in Seattle, which is just a, it's like on this very south end of, of the University of Washington campus. And uh, they created a new park out there and uh, I was there to, uh, just check it out and, and take some photos. And so I had a couple nice uh, black and whites. Uh, this was like January last year. Um, the weather was, was really terrible during most of January. So, uh, you know, this uh, had to make do with, with, with what was given, but these, there's some nice long exposures on here. Uh, and the detail uh, in the photos is actually really nice with the black and white. Uh, later on in March, uh, I went with the parents. Uh, we, we like to actually go out a lot and uh, uh, just go out to some some state parks and things like that just to get out of the house uh, because of you know lockdowns and, and quarantine stuff like that so uh, this time we went to Point Defiance and uh, checked out the whole renovated area down there uh, some really nice shots of, of Mount Rainier and and uh, the, the surrounding uh, commencement bay down there uh, in Tacoma uh, got a nice panorama with a ship and things like that uh, we don't go down to the Tacoma area or, or down south very often, so it was really nice to just kind of be there and, and th check things out. Uh, and then we also, on a different weekend in March, we also went to uh, Des Moines and check out the marina there. Uh, some pretty dreary weather, but uh, I, I love this shot with uh, with the greens. And, uh, you know, we called it, uh, I call this from the edge of the deep green sea for you Cure fans out there, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it worked out really well. Long exposure with the buoy in the middle. Uh, I was debating on whether to try to actually get the buoy just sharp and then everything else kind of like moving around it, but uh, I decided to just keep it as it is. Uh, and then a little bit later in the month, things started to get nicer weather-wise, and so uh, took uh, took Ella out for a little bit of a spin to, to get, the, um, get the wheels moving a little bit uh, and tried out the new wide angle. Uh, I got the new 14 to 30 F4 at that point, so I wanted to give that a try. Uh, this is actually down by the uh, boat center uh, in uh, near Husky Stadium in the University of Washington. Found a little spot down there where I could uh, park the car and, and, and take a, a nice little wide angle shot. And then later in the month, uh, tried the wide angle out uh, with some stars just in the backyard. And uh, it actually performed quite well, even though it's got a uh, f4 aperture. So not the fastest lens in the world, but uh, had a nice star shot out there in the backyard. March was also uh, Harper's birthday, and uh, Harper is uh, Wentz and Joe's kid. Uh, it, she actually turned three uh, this year, which is crazy, so making me feel old already. Uh, they've had a tradition of dressing her up as a, a famous woman from history, so this year it was uh, uh, Justice uh, Ginsburg. And you can see that uh, from this first photo, she, she's, been, she's tired of your stuff, man. Um, just don't mess with her. Uh, we, we took these photos at the at the Green Loft on, on Capitol Hill, if I remember correctly. Uh, really great shots. You can see now that she's uh, starting to get a little bored. Uh, but we had some, some good lighting set up for some lighting that I just purchased. And uh, 
really nice spot and they let us move stuff around and, and it was really nice. And then of course, uh, she's celebrating her, her birthday here with, with the cake and everything. Uh, really great location, good folks, and uh, definitely recommend that if you want to do some photo shoots. All right, now we get into April and uh, the sun's starting to come out now and it's, it's, it's pretty nice. And so we've got some cherry blossoms and uh, these cherry blossoms are actually right across the street from, from my house. And you've seen me take photos of, uh, of, of, of Ava there uh, underneath those uh, cherry blossoms, but it was definitely nice and in bloom at that point. Uh, really beautiful day to just kind of get out and, and take some photos. Uh, I was able to get Ella underneath the, 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 the trees as well. I was actually, this is a pretty far um, focal length for this shot. I was actually down the street quite a bit with the 300 millimeter. And uh, yeah, I had to watch out for cars trying to run me over and things like that. But it was a really nice shot uh, with, uh, with the blues mixed with, with the cherry blossoms and that turned out really nice. Uh, we also had some really nice, just clear weather for, for a nice crescent moon shot. The, the 300 millimeter has been great for that, uh, even with the FTZ adapter. Uh, this, this crescent moon is really nice. A lot, a lot of people just get like a full moon, but I, I like trying to go for something a little bit different. And this is a nice 100% uh, crop uh, from that. Uh, we also went up to uh, Taylor Shellfish up in Bow, Washington, which is just south of Bellingham on, on Chuckanut Drive. Uh, and I started testing out some new stuff. So, so this is some, some sky replacement from uh, uh, Skylum's uh, Luminar AI. <clears throat> and you can see the kind of the ship is just grounded in there and I, I threw a different sky in. Uh, but then there's also this shot, which is kind of how it actually was when we were there, nice clear skies. Uh, I actually posted this up on Twitter and it got uh, reshared by some of the local news stations. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and I saw it on TV, which which is pretty awesome. I, I always always love to see my stuff uh, on, on bigger media. Uh, and then again, going back to kind of the moon stuff, uh, this is another moon shot, which is actually during the daytime. Uh, and I, I wanna say this is probably about 10 a.m. or something like that. Just up on the deck here at my house and, and just looking straight up and, and, and there it was. Uh, really good sharpness out of that 300 millimeter. I, I really like that lens even on, on, uh, on a Z system. Uh, but it's it, it's turned out really great and then I started shooting things that are just in the backyard So you got like this hummingbird, which is is really gorgeous with with the kind of fuchsia Throat area and things like that. Uh, you're gonna see a little bit more like it's kind of neighborhood animals and things like that just because I just need to get out of the house and uh, April was was about when I actually fully got vaxxed. So uh, This is when things start to kind of to pick up as far as uh, photos go. All right, now we're into May, and uh, you know now now I'm fully vaxxed, and uh, and so are a lot of my friends, and, uh, and I'm starting to get out a little bit more, and the, the weather is getting nicer, uh, and so one of the first places I wanted to go was uh, Gasworks Park to try to check this place out. Uh, used a big ultra wide for this shot here, uh, really nice with the with the skies and the clouds. Uh, there was a lot of people there, uh, just kind of enjoying the weather because it, we had been suffering through months of just dreary. Uh, cold and things like that and then switched it up for uh, With a different lens for this one. Uh, I think this one was with the either the 85 or, or my Sigma 35 I don't remember off the top of my head which one but just a different view of the Seattle skyline that that most people aren't used to uh, You know, obviously Cary Park is kind of the go-to for stuff But I like to try to get around and, and, and try uh, different places uh, again, another hummingbird shot. This one was again with the 300 millimeter just in, in on my deck up top. Uh, you can see that that lens is super sharp and I really like it a lot. Uh, you probably might have seen my little love letter to the 300 millimeter that I posted on my blog a, a few months ago. Uh, this shot is, is up there for one of them. And then uh, went with the parents again. This time we went to Anacortes, which is uh, kind of northeast of Seattle, close to. Uh, not all the way up to Bellingham, but about uh, three quarters of the way there, uh, cl close to Whidbey Island. And uh, I shot this one with a 300 millimeter looking at Mount Baker in the background there. Uh, really nice shot. And then uh, there's a, a look of, of Anacortes from, from the top of, of one of the, the big hills there. Uh, again, looking toward, uh, toward the Cascade Mountains. 
and then there's a, another moon shot. Uh, I think this was actually taking a little bit differently, uh, but you can see some clouds around it, which looked pretty cool. It was almost like it was coming out of the clouds, but an another daytime shot of the moon. You can see the, the crater detail is really nice. And then finally, uh, this I went back and reprocessed a shot from Anacortis uh, in a black and white, uh, using some focus stacking on this so that uh, you basically have sharpness throughout the entire photo. Uh, and, and a nice little point on the little, uh, on the little railing right there to kind of give you a little bit of a direction uh, of, of, of where you, I want your eye to look. So uh, May was really nice, really good weather, and it was nice to get outside. All right, now we're into June and uh, things are starting to get a little warmer um, and, and it's starting to get outside more. So uh, first off, starting out in, in the backyard, this Robin was was really just flexing on me, it seems like. Uh, from what I've been told, I guess this is a way of kind of cooling off, I think, uh, because it was pretty warm. Uh, we actually had some of the hottest weather we've ever had in Seattle this summer. Uh, it, it got to like 110 degrees at one point. I don't remember which month that was, but uh, I think it was June. I don't remember now, but uh, it was the worst. It, it was absolutely the worst. Uh, but this this robin was really trying to feel it. And then we had this crow that's kind of like, oh, what are you looking at, right? Uh, this was actually up on the roof and it was a perfectly timed shot with him kind of looking over and, and, and seeing what's going on. I was able to actually go out uh, and do some some stuff with some friends, and I actually shot this with the the Fujifilm uh, X100F, and just admiring the nice colors and stuff on on the buildings. This is on Capitol Hill, uh, close to where we uh, did some karaoke. Uh, the graffiti is really cool, uh, and, and the colors, everything, uh, it, everything just turned out really well with with this kind of more street photo stuff. Then for Father's Day, we actually went to uh, Palisade over in Magnolia, and I took some nice uh, food shots of, of some of the, the stuff that we had. So this is a, a, a crab and artichoke dip, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then my mom had a, a king, some king crab legs, uh, which were like really nice. Uh, there's some uh, surf and turf here with, with a filet mignon and, and a lobster tail. And then uh, for dessert, some cheesecake, uh, which, was, which was really fantastic. Uh, while we were there, I also spent some time over at Smith Cove, which is basically uh, the same surrounding area. So this is actually looking out toward the uh, west, toward the Olympic Mountains, uh, close to Sunset, but not quite, as you can see. And then on the other side, uh, you've got the actual Smith Cove Marina and this nice long exposure with, with the water and, and the boats and everything. I uh, did a little bit of a pur purple tint to this. And then looking the other direction towards Seattle and Mount Rainier, uh, you can see there's a heron there that, that literally stood still for the entire time so I could take this long exposure photo, uh, which actually was, was really nice. And then finally ending off uh, June here with, with another uh, hummingbird photo, this time in flight, was able to capture this one, was, was really kind of a stroke of luck, but uh, really cool that I was able to get it uh, again with the 300 millimeter. Okay, now we're into July, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys don't hear the heater too bad. It's it just turned on, and uh, yeah, hopefully it doesn't screw with the audio too much. But in any case, uh, in July, for, for July 4th, we actually drove down to Ocean Shores and Westport to just kind of spend the weekend down there, or at least a day trip, sorry. Uh, and uh, got some good shots, but uh, things were a little crazy. There's just so many people down there. Uh, and, and on the beach itself, you can see that uh, there's this nice uh, do not enter sign, uh, motor vehicles prohibited, like right actually on the beach itself past that area. But you can see that there's some people still still motoring down there. Uh, it was kind of a madhouse uh, down there. We didn't stay in Ocean Shores for, for very long. Um, so we ended up uh, moving over to Westport and uh, got some really nice uh, pelicans in flight while I was uh, down in the marina there. Uh, with the 300 millimeter, uh, you know, they say that the, the Nikon Z7 isn't supposed to be like an action camera. It's more of a kind of a portrait landscape fo camera, uh, but that didn't stop me. Uh, definitely works great as long as you know what you're doing with, with panning and stuff like that. Uh, thankfully, I've had a lot of practice for that over the years from motorsports. Uh, got some more pelicans in flight here this time with, with four of them. Uh, there was no shortage of pelicans down there. It was, it was a pretty crazy spot. Um, and then, 
rolling down there. Uh, we've got uh, the entire uh, crew going down there with uh, Jeremy's Challenger leading the way, uh, Jack's uh, S3 in the background. Uh, and it was just a nice rolling shot. Like this first time I actually was able to take a rolling shot with, with the Z7 and I shot this with the ultra wide with the, the 14 to 30 as well. So pretty cool stuff there. And then uh, once we actually got down to Westport, uh, really nice black and white that I took of, of the, the water down there. Uh, I know I have a few friends who go down to Westport and, and do some surfing. So uh, I don't know if this is the exact spot that they do that, but uh, uh, really, really nice uh, kind of uh, shot of, of what it looked like. It was it was a dreary day again, as as you can see. Um, and then uh, July kind of ended off with uh, with uh, my friend Ryan and, and Kelly's wedding. And uh, here's just one shot from it. Uh, he actually asked me to take photos during the uh, during their their uh, rehearsal the day before the wedding. Uh, and, and they use that for their actual like uh, wedding vows and things like that. So uh, took that there. Then the the actual wedding was, was the day after, and and that was just me enjoying it. So I wasn't the actual photographer for that. But uh, uh, really fun stuff. Uh, congratulations again uh, to them. They actually had delayed their their wedding a year because of COVID, and so we were all finally able to get together and and celebrate with them. Now we're into August, and I had a photo shoot for a client uh, looking to uh, put their, their Range Rover up on Turo. And so uh, he wanted to get a, a nice Seattle background and then maybe something more outdoorsy. So Smith Cove, here we are again, uh, got some, some really nice shots of, of the Range Rover Evoke here uh, right by the water. So really give you that Seattle vibe. Um, and you got the space needle in the background, really clean car and everything. So definitely check out his tour listing if you can find his name, is Steve, um, and and rent that for for the weekend, right? Uh, and again, that we, we found a nice outdoorsy looking place to to, to make sure that hey, it's a Range Rover, it's still kind of an outdoor vehicle. So we definitely did that. And of course, while we were out there, uh, I, I I spent some time to take some some skyline photos. So here's one from from Ella Bailey Park. Uh, which I've taken a number of times, but it was it was a nice, just barely hitting sunset and some really nice clouds in the background for a long exposure. Uh, first time I think I've been out there with the Z7 in particular uh, to take Ella Bailey photos that I that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, but uh, re really a nice spot um, and, and kind of hidden, not not a spot that most people find. Uh, and then here's another black and white from sort of Smith Cove again. Uh, a little bit different composition since I was in a different, little, little diff bit different spot. But uh, again, a really nice spot to look at Seattle. And then uh, we also went down to Cannon Beach in August, and and I had a whole vlog for for that whole thing. So so definitely check that out in in, in the link below as well. Uh, a nice black and white. This was the teaser shot that I had posted up for social media uh, of of Haystack Rock down there. Uh, just to, to kind of uh, get people excited for it. And then like Haystack Rock, of course, this is just a fantastic shot. I love the, the people down at the bottom, uh, just showing the, the, the scale and, and the, the 300 millimeter gives some nice compression to this to make it look even more gigantic than it is. And you got the birds and everything. Um, really adds to the, the atmosphere and, and ambiance with, with everything. Uh, I love this shot. Uh, I, I don't know who that person is, but they're just kind of staring out at the at the ocean uh, with, with a little bit of mist and, and the rocks in the background. I actually uh, use this for my Facebook cover photo on my personal account. Uh, love this shot, and uh, it, it definitely uh, brings up some, some, some emotions with that, right? Uh, and then this was a really cool shot that I took uh, when we were actually out uh, with the campfire out on the beach. And I just love the uh, the way that the fog is kind of coming off of the the trees in the background, and uh, and then you got the fires really giving a nice contrast to the blues. Uh, it, it really was really nice how well uh, the Nikon Z7 handled that that dynamic range and, and and getting all that detail from the background, but also in the foreground with the long exposure. And this was taken, uh, I think, the next day uh, with, with the fog and, and the, the clouds rolling over and everything. Uh, we, we really lucked out in terms of, of having some really dramatic uh, weather, but we, we didn't luck out because uh, we didn't get any sun, like, at all 
throughout the entire uh, weekend. Uh, and, and we actually had gone down there to, to take some photos of the, the Perseid meteors. And we didn't get that at all, obviously, as you can tell, but got some really epic photos of Haystack Rock and, and the clouds and everything like this. Uh, really, really nice. And uh, it, it was just, it was gorgeous. And, and I love going down there. It's a really nice spot, but uh, just wish that the weather was better. Uh, I was able to get a few Perseid photos. Uh, here's one of them that I actually took from the backyard. Uh, took this one with the uh, the 35 millimeter 1.8, uh, and, and that's just looking up at the at the sky from from just outside the the door behind me here, uh, and, and got that one s single meteor uh, streaking across in the middle there. Uh, this this was actually taken before we went down to Cannon Beach, so I was hoping that when we got to Cannon Beach we'd see a bunch, but. The clouds were just too thick, so we didn't see anything, uh, but got some other photos, which was actually pretty nice. So here we are in September. Uh, went to Cary Park again with uh, my good friend Sydney and, and Mia. They came up to, to visit from Las Vegas, and so uh, another dreary Seattle day, but I kind of made this one look more Matrixy uh, to kind of celebrate the, the Matrix coming out, which I just watched last night, and it was, it was great. Uh, definitely a lot to unpack in that movie, but 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 good, but good. Uh, anyway, uh, did a little bit of a Matrix treatment on this one as well, uh, uh, with with the space needle and, and the clouds and everything. And then we also went up to Bellingham for a day trip uh, to celebrate uh, Paul and Gina's anniversary, and I took this really nice photo there uh, from uh, from the bay. Uh, did a nice little black and white treatment on it, uh, and and that that piece of driftwood, which was was totally white, really nicely st stood out there and uh, gave some direction to the photo, which I thought was great. Uh, and then we also uh, went up to I, I mentioned Ryan and Kelly's wedding earlier. Well, we also delayed his bachelor party uh, because of of COVID and everything, so we decided to have it kind of after the wedding, and we went up to Gomez Island, which is kind of near Anacortes uh, up north, and. Uh, Spent some time up there to just kind of have a, a bachelor's weekend uh, day off. Uh, got these really nice clouds going on there. Uh, almost looked like it was smoke, but it was it was really just big cumulus clouds. I think is what they are. Uh, really just gorgeous from from the the Airbnb that they got for the for the weekend. Nice sunset going over the the the, the island there as well. Uh, really nice clouds and everything. And it was just it was super peaceful. It was really the kind of the break that I needed, especially in, in mid September with a lot of work stuff going on as well. Uh, and then the, the morning was really nice with, uh, with the, uh, the clouds and, and kind of the fog going on there. Uh, and, and it's just super peaceful up uh, in that area. Uh, you can see the ferry going across as well here. And, and you can see that, you know, the, the weather was getting kind of bad by the time we left, but it was, uh, it was nice. It was, it was really nice and peaceful, a good getaway. And then uh, you've got uh, the whole crew there. Uh, really uh, fun stuff uh, with, with us there, <laughs> kind of looking all mean and everything. Uh, it was a good time. Uh, really good to see these guys again. Hadn't seen a lot of them in, in, in almost two years because of uh, the pandemic and stuff. So uh, great to, to get together again with, with everybody. And now into October, it's starting to be fall now. Uh, had another photo shoot with uh, a client that wanted to get some just personal photos of his new uh, BMW uh, M4. Uh, and so I did a bit of scouting and uh, went out toward uh, Carnation, which is uh, about like kind of due east of Seattle. Uh, pretty far out there. Uh, never been out there before. And I, I, I took some, some, some nice... Uh, fall colors photos there and and the spot was nice for fall colors but not really good for 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 car shoots unfortunately so uh but i was able to get this nice uh, little reflection going on and 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 uh everything with the the long exposure which was really nice um really out of the way and super quiet and, and as i was there there's uh there's a group from rei that was learning how to kayak and so they were just about to get in the water where I was, so the timing was good that I was able to at least get this before they uh, kind of took over everything. And then on my way back, I stopped again by that uh, that one park over by Portage Bay and, and got just this nice uh, kind of fall colors, but also with the houseboats and stuff uh, photo, uh, just to just to 
kind of play around and stuff. And uh, it, I, I just really like how the colors kind of came out. Uh, there's so many different ones here and definitely a typical Seattle fall uh, weather with, with this one. So, so then a few weeks later, finally got the photo shoot with, uh, with Hansel and his BMW. And so we went out to actually Snoqualmie and we, we drove around a bit to try to scout around. We actually found this nice little spot where you could see uh, the, a bridge behind him. Uh, and this is actually the car that I edited uh, on my live stream uh, to do some demonstrations for this. Uh, and uh, it, it actually was really nice. The, the, the weather held up. It wasn't like rainy or anything, but it was kind of spooky and gave a, kind of a Halloween vibe to things. Uh, there's a nice uh, teaser shot of the, of the wheels up close, uh, down low. Got the camera all the way down, uh, touching the ground to get this uh, with, with the 50 millimeter. And then a rear shot from across the street, uh, which is really nice. Uh, nice body lines on, on, on the, the rear of the M4 in particular. Uh, and then here's one with uh, about to, to take off. This is, I think, the, the last shot that we had from, from that photo shoot. Um, and then, of course, you know, wait a couple weeks and the weather gets really nice. And, and I actually went up to Mukilteo to take some shots at the White House up there. Uh, you can see Mount Baker in the background here. Uh, way, way in the back, but the lighthouse is, is nice front and center. And then here's looking out toward Woodby Island at this point with, with the fence line. Uh, some nice uh, long exposure on this one as well. Got, got a nice seagull between a couple of the pillars here. Went for a little bit of a different uh, treatment on, on, the, uh, on the color grading and stuff to kind of give it kind of a, more of an old school type of feel to it. Uh, and then, of course, uh, got, got the Whidbey Island Ferry coming in with, with Mount Baker in the background. This is a nice sharp shot with, with the 300 millimeter. Uh, really, uh, re really nice day, obviously, as you can see. And it's just uh, the blues and the greens really pop with this one. And then finally, of course, it's Halloween. So I got some Halloween photos with some of the my, my family and friends' kids. And so we've got Harper here as, as a ladybug. Uh, down in, in the front yard, um, just uh, doing her thing. And then uh, got another one with some Halloween candy, nice sun uh, lighting in the background. Uh, just, you, I, I took these photos just kind of sitting down on the grass and, and, and looking up and I could tell that, that these were already gonna turn out really nice. And then uh, another group shot uh, here, uh, with everybody and it, it was just it was really nice and nice and outside and the weather held up for Halloween and everything so uh, really good stuff okay and now we're into November December uh, December's weather was really terrible I actually had a couple shoots lined up but like it was just so bad it was cold and, and rainy and windy so I actually didn't end up doing any shoots in in December but November actually we were able to luck out so the first one I did was with Lacey and her WRX uh, Lacey has been a client of mine for, for a while now, I actually shot uh, a car that she did for uh, Pacific Import Auto a few years ago. Uh, and, and this is her own personal car. She did all the body work and the paint and things like that. Uh, and we went up to Whidbey Island uh, and uh, got, found this really nice spot on, on Possession Sound. Uh, and it was super quiet and we were able to spend the whole time there. So we've got her car. Uh, really nice shots of, of the back uh, uh, with with with, uh, with the mainland in the background and uh, really just showing off how much that green pops. Uh, the clouds were really cooperative this, this day as well. Uh, had some sun kind of in the background uh, for the car shots and then uh, eventually we started doing some shots with her dressed up as well uh, to kind of match the car. So she, she definitely was doing that sort of thing here. Um, and, and the idea is that she was kind of like uh, doing this kind of sea witch thing. And so we kind of went on that whole uh, vibe uh, with, with the car to match how she was dressed. Uh, and then got her up on the, on the rocks and the, and, the, and the logs here with, with the hood scoop, of course, in the, in the foreground. So that was a really nice, fun shoot. And then uh, about a week later, uh, had a shoot with uh, Ellie. Who, uh, who I used to actually tutor in photography back when she was a little kid. So now she's, she's we're doing her senior photos, uh, which is kind of surreal. It makes me feel old, but uh, these all turned out really well. We did this over near um, in South Lake Union by the uh, Museum of uh, History and Industry down there. 
uh, and there's like a boat center down there, a wooden boat center, I think what it is. Um, but had some really nice shots with her down there. Uh, really in that good spot. We lucked out again with the weather. Uh, it was a little misty at times, but it actually turned out pretty good. Uh, and, uh, you know, she, she dressed apart for sure. Definitely matched uh, all the wooden uh, boats and then and, and the docks and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that turned out really great uh, for her. And uh, I know that uh, uh, definitely I feel old. I'm, I'm not, not I'm going to say that again. Uh, but uh, really good stuff, and it was, it, was, it was nice to do portraits again. I uh, hadn't done some, some real true portraits in a while, and basically used the 85 for, for the majority of all of these, and a, a, few of the, a few of them using the 35, but it was pretty much all 85 all the time for, for, for all these portraits. Well, guys, that wraps it up for 2021 year in review for Armin Alcejo Photography. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and enjoyed the shots that I took throughout the year. Uh, definitely looking forward to taking a whole bunch more photos next year, especially with some of the new gear that I've got. Uh, and, and hopefully we can all get out a, a little bit more and, and actually uh, do some exploring and, and, and get away from, from the house a little bit. So uh, everybody uh, have a safe and, and happy new year. Uh, stay safe and, and keep healthy. And uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one.